Okay, so welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K16. And as you can see on your screens right now, I've done some upgrading. A lot of you guys were asking me in the comments to upgrade my player at least a little bit before I head into the NBA because apparently I'd really struggled with a 55 rated guy. See, I've done that, I'm 69 rated, ha ha ha, get all the immature jokes out of the way, ha ha banter. And now we're gonna to advance to our first NBA game against the Orlando Magic. I'm excited, let's go. All right, all right, all right. You all know why we're here and what we came to do this year. This is only the beginning of a very long season, but game one means just as much as game 82. Okay. Now, we have some new faces here that I really expect to make an impact for us this season. We've already seen flashes of what they can do for us, but I expect all of you to go out there and execute just like we did in camp. Ain't no more excuses. It's time to get serious. If we play our brand of basketball, there's no telling where this team can go. So get out there. Get warm, and let's go win this game. Yeah. Woo! Motivational speeches. Here we go. My first NBA game. This is something I've been waiting for my entire life. And to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. Who am I talking to? But I know this is where I belong. So I just got to get out there and do what I was born to do. I hope I can make my family proud. Did not expect that. Oh my goodness, here we go. I am a little bit nervous, guys. Our first game in the NBA. Where should I be expecting to start? On the bench? I feel like the bench is right. Yep. Rookie life. Hey. Bruv, I'm not that new. Don't, don't stare. Right. Evan Fournier. He knows how to take advantage of a good shot opportunity. Press LB to double team him. Use LT to play him tight out on the perimeter. Flicking of the right stick. Okay, so they, it gives me actual tips on how to defend against these people. All right, let's go. Fournier, what are you saying, bro? Oh! Yeah, first bucket of the NBA. All right, LB to double team. LT to keep him out on the perimeter. I'm going to mark this guy at the game. That was a terrible attempt at a rebound, but it's cool. Oh, time and space, and, oh, I got a bit too excited. In his face, contest the shot, no. Oh shit, I just realized we're losing. Pressure, pressure, look at the double team, he's got away. Oh god. All right, where's my pick and roll? There we go, there we go, inside, go on. Nice, my first NBA assist. You better get off the floor, because they're not giving him a foul. Oh, nice, nice still. Go on, go on, go for it. Oh my, please tell me. Okay, go on, try again. Shooting foul. I don't know what he was doing. Okay, at the end of the first quarter, we are down by two points, I think it is. And I've got one bucket and an assist as well. Oh, interview. You know, I've thought about this moment my entire life. Now that it's finally here, the feeling's pretty crazy. But I know it's just the beginning. I got a lot of hard work ahead of me to get to where I want to go, to be the best player and the best teammate I could be. But this is an exciting first step, no doubt. That's interesting, man. Interviews and everything. This never fails to surprise me. There's the cheerleaders going by. Oh, I'm on the bench again. Brilliant. Oh my god. And at the end of the second, we're down by, what, 14? I didn't, I didn't touch the ball at all in that second quarter, so you see... This is what happens when you miss out on niggins, even if I am a rookie. I'm on the bench again. Oh, what happens? What happens? Oladipo, no! LB to double team, poor inside scorer, use LT to make him work hard for shots, got it. Alright, go on then. Woo! Sinks a three! I didn't do anything, but I think I think my presence on the court is helping them. Try again. Get a shot off. Yes, wall. Come on. No, no. Yes, nice rebound. There we go, right. Still trying to screen on me. Yes, yes, force the turnover. Let's go. I'm blocking. I'm filling the lane. I'm filling the lane. Finish it. Finish it. Slam. Yes. Force the mistake with the pressure and the fast break. Well, there was no stopping us, really. Stay on him. Nice. There's another mistake. Let's go again. Fast break again. Fill the lanes again. Do it. Oh, two slams in a row. We're pulling it back, boys. We are pulling it back. I want to get a little bit more involved, though. No, that's too easy. Oh, God. They get a slam right back. Oh my god, I've just, oh god, I've just been rubbed of the ball by Oladipo. Oh no, oh no. Shit. We can't find the space, there's no space to be found. Go on. Dudley, go on. Nice! 
Oh my god, Wall's going ham. Wall's going ham. Wall's going to get the bucket. Let's go for it, Niggins. Oh, oh, no. Go on, Wall, do something with it. That was close. Oh, this hasn't been a good thought. Well, it kind of has individually, not so much. As a team effort, we've done really well to claw it back. Oh my god, and they've let it slip again. They've let it slip. Yes, nice. Nice, well played. Freak. Oh, come on. Come on. Drive, drive, drive. Foul. Gets the bucket and one. They're trying to shake me, but it's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. Slightly late, but we got the bucket. That's all that matters. There's the final buzzer. We got smacked, but when I was in the court, good things happened. Even though I wasn't actually directly involved in most of them, they, they, they happened. Whenever I was off the court, look, that's like, it's given me a poor grade. I thought I did, okay, it was, it was a bad game. Five points, one assist, and one turnover and a foul as well. It's a pretty poor game. We're gonna go straight into our second game. This time we're playing Oklahoma City Thunder. And I think we're at home, so hopefully we get a better result than last time. Oklahoma City Thunder, let's do this. Started on the bench again. Right, we're coming on to Mark Dion Waiters. X to get the ball off him before he goes for the shot. Put him under pressure and he'll make mistakes. Cool. Shit, I can't get out to him. In his face. Oh God. Yes, just enough, just enough. Where's the screen at? Where's this? There it is, there it is, there it is. No, that's not where I wanted to go, but Wall's going to get the shot off and nothing. Oh, God. There they go. There they go. Rebounds. Nice niggins. Pop it forward. Yes. Go on, Gortat. Oh, this is good ball movement. Dudley, get the shot off, man. There we go. Okay. Pop it back. Get the shot off this time. Nice. There's the bucket and the assist. Oh, my God. The dribbling. The... That was incredible. Pop it. Go on, Gortat. Still going. There it is. Nice. Oh, shooting foul. Damn it. Oh, my God. That's poor. It's the first free throw we've missed this year. Make the second one. Oi. Go on, then. Go on. Ooh. Oh, Porter. Go on, then. Oh, there's my assist. End of the half, we are up by six points, and it's been a very average game so far. On the bench again, we're up by six. What happens when we go forward? Is that it? Is that all I played? Oh, I mean, we won by 15, which is good, I guess, but I thought I'd get a little bit more game time than that. Another poor rating. B-plus teammate grade, but a poor rating. What a life, eh, freak? One minute you're playing 21 and horse on the courts in Harlem, and the next moment you're in the showroom, configuring the gunmetal and graphite exterior of your luxury car and your iPad mini. <laughs> oh, I bet you get a crazy crowd when you drive that car around the block in the old neighborhood, huh? Yeah, living the dream. <laughs> Mad pandemonium. But folks from back around the way are real proud of me. Yeah, I hear you. Local kid makes good. You know, it kind of reminds me of when I took my tech stock public and I rang the New York Stock Exchange bell and my mom's friends called her up and said, Maggie, is that your son on Bloomberg News this morning ringing the bell? And my mom says, yes, sir, Bob, it was him. That was a great moment, freak. And you know, our lives are like a pearl necklace of great moments, all strung together with the finest silk thread of memories. And we have to be very careful how we cultivate those pearls and we thread that necklace. Does this meeting by any chance have to do with Vic Van Leer? I grew up in the burbs, freak. I wasn't poor, upper middle class, comfortable. My daddy worked as an accountant for one of the largest insurance firms in the country. Smart with his money. Mom didn't have to work. I went to boarding school. And my dad died of a heart attack when I was a freshman at MIT. I was a movie geek, wanted to be a That's civil engineer, quickly. but I made my fortune by becoming a hybrid of both those interests. My dad didn't want me to be an accountant. <laughs> oh, listen to this. My best friend was a guy named Isidore. <laughs> yeah, we called him Izzy. He was one of the smartest human beings I have ever met in my life. I mean, Izzy was taking second year college calculus courses as a high school sophomore, right? Straight-A student, full ride to MIT. Izzy had the world at his fingertips. But 
he was always looking for trouble, and trouble found him. He ran with the wrong crowd. And when we got to MIT, he got this great job working for a financial consulting firm in Boston. But every weekend, he would pew, fly to Vegas. You see, Izzy had a system for counting cards in Vegas that had the big casinos on the strip. Oh, it's me. He would come back to MIT with suitcases filled with $200,000 in cold cash. What? Yeah. So your man Izzy was getting hit off like that? Like a fat rat in a cheddar cheese factory, freak. <sighs> OK, so what happened to this dude Izzy? Because he's dope. <laughs> no, not dope. Dead. After he'd been missing for three weeks, the Nevada State Police never found hide nor hair of Isidore. And our friendship took a hit when he asked me to hang out with him in Vegas, and I said I wouldn't do it, because I knew he was on a dark and twisted path in his life. And yes, yes, he was my dude. But no way was I going to throw my life away trying to show my loyalty to a guy who really and truly didn't understand what loyalty was all about. So this meeting is about Vic. Correctamente. OK, well, sir, Vic isn't Izzy. And why is that, freak? Well, for one thing, you and your dead friend Izzy didn't grow up poor. Me and Vic grew up in a neighborhood where we had to look over our shoulder every two seconds to make sure nobody was going to walk up on us and rob us. True. Izzy and I did not grow up in the hood. But we, like you, thankfully grew up in a two-parent household. But even that wasn't enough for Izzy. He wasn't satisfied. He was always looking for a five-alarm fire when he already had the warmth and comfort of a loving family. This is not about class warfare, freak. This is about the consequences of making bad choices and risking it all when you feel like you have nothing to lose. Vic is like a brother to me, sir. But you shouldn't be Brother Vic's keeper, freak. Would a brother go looking for trouble and put your career and your livelihood at risk by getting into fights at nightclubs and seedy after-hour joints and then scream to the media, yeah, it's all good, I'm an F.O.F., friend of freak. It's all misunderstanding. Y'all be haters, don't hate my game. I don't think a brother would do that for someone they really cared about, but a guy who looked at you like a meal ticket would. No. So you don't understand Vic? Really? I don't understand. No. Look, man, it was a misunderstanding with the guy in the next VIP booth. His honey started flirting with me. Naturally, I started flirting back. Next thing I know, Captain Cornball is off my grill piece. Beefing next to he know. <laughs> he got a two-piece and a biscuit on his left eye. <laughs> I, Matt. Nah, nah, I, I don't know where them. And it damn sure wasn't me. <laughs> hey, Captain Cornball's mad because I'm an F-O-F, friend of freak. <laughs> hey, well, check this out, though. He needs to train that hottie before he leave the house, though. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he's... He's hot as ain't loyal, man. <laughs> What's there to understand? Are you freaking blind? Busted. You know, I just want to know, how much did you pay your lawyers to make all this go away? Almost 100000 Excuse me, son. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I said I paid almost $100,000. Exactly. And if you Jeez. keep riding shotgun with Vic, you're going to go broke quick, fast, and in a hurry. But Vic is my friend, and I grew up with him. How many times I got to tell you, sir? Freak, this is not a request. I am not asking you to do this. I am telling you to do this. And the first order of business is that Mr. Vic Van Leer is banned from traveling with you on the road. Vic is banned from the locker room. And Vic is banned from this arena. And if I catch this guy, Vic, in or anywhere near the facilities, Mr. Vic Van Leer will be arrested for trespassing. Are you serious, sir? Brother. I'm as serious as cancer. We all know that can be deadly. Wow. No. That is a grave comparison. Me and Vic were kids. Playing summer tournaments at the Dome. We always imagined making it to the pros. And after the crowds left, just a streetlight was on the court, like 11.30, 12 
12 midnight, even one in the morning sometimes. <laughs> we used to practice player introductions, running on the court, giving dab, high-fiving the teammates. Vic, he would act as an announcer. You know, he would introduce me, announce my name on the loudspeaker, and the jumbotron would uh, flash my image like a little guy dressed in long shorts and a jersey. And now, Fresh off his three-game, 62-point scoring streak, the youngest player to ever do so in NBA history, Frequency Vibrations! <laughs> so me and Vic were sitting in those empty bleachers at the Dome and dream like nobody's business. And now... And now I'm living a dream. For real. And in so many ways, Vic was part of that. Please, listen to me. I mean, I know this guy's your dude from way back. Look, me and Vic go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's, we go way back. Did you say, did you say front seats? Fr front seats of a 67 Cadillac. We go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. Well, do you have any crickets? <laughs> I'm going to be the hit once again at Herbie Allen's Sun Valley Shindig because my fellow billionaires love it when I walk and talk that talk. So that <laughs> almost sounds... No, let me tell you exactly what it sounds like. I respect, admire, and most importantly, love you as a human being and a role model but I pay you a lot. And I mean, I pay you a lot of money to play for my team. And I am in this game to win it. And you can't win it with an albatross around your neck like Vic. So Vic is done. History. And here's some more lingo that I picked up from a former megastar who used to play for me several seasons ago. Thought I would never release him until I did. And now he's the sixth man on a struggling team in Venice. And yeah, I'm talking Venice with the canals and the gondolas and Harry's Bar, not the street ballers next to the fortune tellers on the beach in Cali. This guy used to tell me when he thought there was a player destroying our team, don't be a hero, cut that zero. And that is what I am telling you about, Vic, freak. Don't be a hero, cut that zero. The only thing Vic brings into your life is headache and unwanted and unnecessary negative attention. And it will begin to affect your mindset. And when it affects your mindset, it's gonna affect your play. And when it affects your play, it's gonna affect my team. And when it affects my team, it's gonna affect my money. And if it affects my money, Google Translate will become your new freaking friend. I want a championship ring, freak, and I want you to help me get that ring. And banners after banners hanging from the Raptors in this arena. So, freak, hear me clearly and hear me good. V, G, G, Vic, gotta go! Handle your business. And remember, that contract you signed contains a morality clause, a very important clause that revolves around your conduct on and off the court and how it can negatively impact my team. Now, I don't want you to have to learn Italian or Croatian as a second language. And hey, playing pro ball overseas, there's nothing wrong with that. But the arenas are nothing like this, nor will the money be the same. And on top of all of that, this is the U.S. of A, the greatest freaking country in the world. Ask yourself, is Vic worth all that? Think about it. Think long, think wrong.
Oh, that shit was intense. Jesus. Well, now that we're finally out of the story mode, I'm just gonna upgrade Athlete by one to level seven. And look, we're 70 rated, perfect. Game 21 of the season, game three for me. Washington Wizards at New Orleans Pelicans. Let's go. Right, here we go, third game. Tyreek Evans, 80 overall. I'm only 70. Put him on his heels with the flick of the right stick, cool. Get it screen to the Wizards. Pop it out. They weren't as loud oh. As other teams last oh. Season, oh. 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 Come on. Can I get a screen? Oh my god. What? It's what was that? And here we go. Fast break. Evans has got it. Defense to start and Oh my god. We'll see if Freak's decision pays off for him. There we go. There we go. There we go. First bucket of the game. It's only a two, but it's a bucket nonetheless. Shit, I've left my guy. I've left my guy. Oh god. Thank God for that. Humphreys, let's go. That first quarter. Guys, that Pop that through. There's a nice pass. Dudley, there's the assist. Really I'm on the bench again. <sighs> right, back on with a minute left to go, and we are down by what? How does that happen? Probably through. What? Chuck, what? Oh my God. All right, there we go. Pick and roll, pick and roll. In the middle. Go on. Oh, come on. End of the second, and we are down by 13. Come on, start me. Now I'm on the bench again. Okay. Back on in the fourth. Down by 11. First game here of two that they'll play against this team. There we go. Come on. Nice. There's a three. And Sessions kicks to Humphreys. There's Freak. There we go. Freak puts another three in. Two in a row. Too little, too late, though. Another loss for the Washington Wizards. I've got another poor performance. Despite getting eight points and an assist, only getting given five minutes of game time. It's not much time to shine, is it? The only color I care about is green, money. Now you've certainly made some money so far, Freak, but it's time we make more money. Oh, I'm God. talking movies, TVs, endorsements, even your own brand Jordan sneakers. I care about the game fighters, Dom. All that sounds great, but don't you think it's a little too early to be talking about all that? Too early? LeBron was 12 years old in sixth grade when he was thinking Space Jam. It's never too early to take and make leaps. I guess. You guess. This isn't high school. This isn't college. This is the real world. And the real world is fueled by one thing. Oh, money. That's right. Money. Dollar bills, y'all. Why do you think they put presidents on them? Because that's what presides over Why us. Why are they all talking like this? I ever tell you guys about the first dollar I ever made? No, Don, but you're about to. Yo, check this out. CC, this is a great story, right? So I'm seven years old, Queens, New York, 1973. My older brother Lonzo, he's got a lemonade stand. So that summer, I'm like, Lonzo, you know, let me help out. Let me make a couple of bucks with you. He's like, all right, Dom, come on. I'll teach you the business. So I'm pouring tons of sugar. I'm squeezing the lemons. I got the lemonade stand all set up. I'm like, yo, I got this, right? So. I'm watching during the course of the day. I'm noticing something Lonzo's doing. He's not charging for refills. That summer, I convinced Lonzo no more free refills, and we make $2,000 plus tips. Today, Lonzo's Lemonade is a national brand and publicly traded. Oh, wow. That's dope. I'm not here to impress. I'm here to improve and to assist. I'm like the Italian American Magic Johnson running point for Team Freak. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the only person running point around here will be me. CC, look at my watch. What do you see? Not this again. I've seen the movie. This is diamonds and platinum. Gold, forget about it. Silver, forget about it. This is diamonds and platinum. It's power and speed. Freak, this is what you have. You are on your way to being the biggest thing in the NBA. I'm proposing now that we dominate off the court as well as on. I can't believe I'm saying this, Freak, but Dom has a point. You've been establishing yourself on the court, and now it's time to take it off the court. Brand Jordan sneakers, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Listen, Freak, yeah. you're going to have to decide the legacy you want to leave. But I'm not some agent from the Yellow Pages. I'm Dom Pagnotti. I'm the man, the myth, the legend, the king, number one. I'm the best. And I'm a shark. And the Pagnotti shark is working for you. And we got to set new goals and bigger goals, okay? I'm talking all-star game. I'm talking dunk contest. When was the last time you saw an NBA great in a dunk contest, huh? I'm talking first team all NBA, first team all defensive team. What about social media? Yvette, great idea. Social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's kick it up a notch. www.freakinginviving.com. Yeah. That's right. Your own website. I've already set it up for you, and it's running great. Wait, hold okay? up. Listen, I'm in negotiations right now on a feature that will allow viewers to watch Freak and only him and his plays during the game. Yeah, but you set up a website without consulting me? Yeah. When did this happen? Last week. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be epic. CC, 
I love you, but I got no time to waste. And you're out there busy doing whatever it is you're doing. Whatever I'm doing? You know what? I'm really sick and tired of the disrespect. This is Team Freak, not the Dom Pagnati I Italian American Opera. CC, calm down, all right? Dom here, he's just trying to take us to the next level. Look, Ming Ching, I don't even know why you're Ming here. Ming Ching. Your job is oh, to look good in snap. Chess. CC, chill. No, I'm done chilling. Between your clown agent and your gold digging girlfriend, I've had enough. Gold hey, digger. You're the winner of the Lucky Sperm Contest, and I'll have you know I am currently starting my own fashion line. I've already got model contracts from Beijing to Milan, not to mention I graduated top of my class. Summa cum laude. You mean thank you, laude? I don't need a man to save me or provide for me, okay? I got my own, boo. Mm, okay, well, if that's the case, then why has all your success and fame coincided with your relationship with my brother? I mean, if you're really on top of your game, wouldn't that have happened before y'all even met? Right? You know what, Cece? You're just jealous. It's okay, though. Why don't you just play the background, yeah? Enjoy the ride. Y'all both done yet? May I continue? Now, listen, as far as movie properties go, I've already got a script based upon a story of your life, Freak, okay? So, guys, check out these possible titles. Freaking and Vibin', Life and Times, Volume 1. The Freak Chronicle, Freak the Fast and Furious, Part 1 does it. And this is like my this favorite guy. Freak. You're going to love this. He got Pagnotti. <laughs> you okay. love it, right? right? Dom, 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 Dom. Yeah, but look, you're the man, but you're not the man. OK, you work for me. You have to follow my lead. I'm all for your ideas, but in due time. As for now, I want to focus on the court. And we'll discuss some of your That's ideas what I'm at a later date. That's my G. Yeah, we're cool in the gang, bro. That's all you got to say. All right, good. Thank you. Vet, chill. You cannot let Cece get underneath your skin. But on the same token, you cannot go out of your way to piss her off. I don't have time to be playing peacekeeper between you two. Tell him, bro. Let's talk about this afterwards alone. Fine. Cece? Cece? You need to hold this together. You and I both agree long ago that Dom was the best agent for me. He has delivered. Oh, his method's questionable. Is he a shark? Yes and yes. But he's our shark. He's what's best for me, which means he is what's best for all of us. Your job is to bring us balance. Manage the team, sis. We all need to be on the same page. You're right. My guy's but cleared up. Than water. You know, I ain't trying to hear all that. I'm not here to hold hands. I'm here to win games and achieve greatness on and off the court. But in order for that to happen, I need everybody, everybody to be on point. Essentially, get right or get gone. Yeah, I don't have time to be teaching you guys how to work together. It either starts now or I find it elsewhere. Squashed? Squashed. Zucchini. Jeez, my guy told him how it is. Okay, let's go for one more game. Against the Brooklyn Nets, we're gonna try and get a win. We're gonna try and get a good performance. We're gonna try and get ourselves some buckets. Let's go. All right, come on guys, we got this. All right, coming off the bench to Mark Donald Sloan, 73 rated. We're up by one. There's a steal. Love that, Niggins. Nice, okay, that's a good start. Go on, go on. Oh, come on, come on. You're better than that, man. Well, we've got still to our name already. It's not bad. Let's see what else we can do. I've got space in the middle. Pop it back. Go on, get a shot off. Give me an assist. Oi. Yes. Oh, look at the space. Yes, Niggins! Oh, slam! Yes! Finally getting some good movement today. Look at that. Brilliant. Stay on him. Come on. There we go. Nice rebound. Good team D. Pop that through. Go on, Porter. Give me the assist. Go on. Yes. This has been good. This has been good. And we're benched. But two points, two assists, and one steal. It's not a bad start. End of the second. We are up by nine, and it's looking good. Deal with him. Deal with him. There we go. Defensive rebound. That's cool. There we go. There's a pick and roll. There's a pick and roll. Go on, freak. No, what? Shooting's off. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's break. There it is. Easy layup. There we go. There it is. Come on, Humphreys. Go on. Oh, come on. What a waste. Humphreys, finish it. Shooting foul. Yes. And one. And I'm on the bench again. Let's see if he puts this away, can he? Come on, Humphreys. Yes. And at the final buzzer, we get the win. Once again, not much time on the court, but that was probably our best game out of the lot. Hey, look, a fair performance. Finally, not poor. Woo! Four points, one rebound, two assists, and a steal. It's better.
Right, so that is me done on NBA for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you did not, hit the dislike button. Let me know why in the comments below so I can try and improve these videos. And I will talk to you guys in a bizzle. Peace.